Hello and welcome back to another episode of ProMind Tip of the Month. Today we will see how to create a 3D model of an ore body from a block model and then design stopes. So once you have the block model in the drawing, you're going to want to cut two sections that represent the area of the ore body to be mined. So go to plan view. And then we're going to start by cutting one section right here. So I'll click on the command cut one section and we're going to name this, let's say section one and use the point azimuth to cut a section right here. So look in this direction so that the east is to your right. Yes. And then make sure that this option here is unchecked and we can keep everything else by default. All right, so once this is good, click OK, and the program will cut one section at that location. So in here, you have the section as if you were looking through the block model. So now what we're going to do is draw a polyline around the area to be mined. So let's say that in our case here, we're going to mine this area here. Now, usually you draw this around the high grade blocks, but in this case, just for the sake of this presentation, I'm going to pick a random area. And then finally C for close. And this is the first section. So go back to plan view and do the same thing on the other side here or in the area where you want the ore body to end. All right, so we're gonna cut one section again. We're gonna name this section two. Again, use the point azimuth and we're going to cut a section right here. Look in this direction, yes. Keep everything by default and make sure that this is unchecked. Hit OK. And in this case, as you can see, we have an empty space here. So no blocks exist in this case. So this might be a bad location to cut a section. But again, just for the sake of this presentation, we're going to draw a polyline around these blocks including the waste area here. So usually you would cut another section that has more high grade blocks. But in this case, we're going to use this polyline to represent the limit of the ore body to be mined. All right, so I'll go back to plan view. And now in my layers, as you can see, I have section one and two. So what we're going to do is basically turn off the block model so that we're only left with the two sections. All right, so as you can see, we have the section and the polylines that were drawn around the blocks. So now go to modeling, construct 3D model. So here we wanna make sure that this is on the ore body layer and use the automatic option to construct your 3D model. So here we're going to pick the first by line and the second one, and this will automatically create our 3D model. All right, by connecting these two pi lines. So if we go back to our block model here and switch this to realistic view, we can see that we have the ore body constructed between the two sections that we created. So once we have this 3D model representing the ore body constructed, Essentially, we would like to calculate the total tonnage inside of this 3D model. So what we're going to do is we're going to trim these blocks to fit inside the 3D model. All right, so we're going to get rid of all the blocks that are not inside of this 3D model. And if a block is halfway in between, that we're going to trim only this part of the block that is inside of the 3D model. All right, so we see here that we have a few blocks that are halfway or almost halfway inside of the 3D model. So we wanna make sure that these parts here are trimmed so that we're only left with the blocks or parts of the blocks that are inside of that 3D model. So to do that, we're going to use the compute model command that allows you to compute the tonnage and grades of blocks inside of a 3D model. Okay, so we're gonna click here and in here, we're going to use a fixed density and then use all the blocks and keep the trimmed block. 
Now it's important to check this command because this is what's going to allow you to trim the blocks to have the ones that are only inside of the 3D model. And then for the grade, we're going to split ore and waste so that anything that's below 1.5 grams per ton is waste. And we're going to annotate by inserting a report and we're just going to increase the scale of the report and hit OK, select the 3D model and hit enter. So once more, what we're doing here is we're trimming the blocks that are inside of the 3D model and then we're computing the tonnage that is inside of this ore body. So once the calculation is done, the program will insert a small report summarizing the results here. So we have the tonnage of ore, the tonnage of waste, which is the empty space inside of the 3D model, as well as the average grades of each type. So to view the trimmed blocks inside of this 3D model, we're going to turn off the block model, switch this to 2D wireframe, and then rotate the view just to see what's happening here. And as we can see here, the blocks were trimmed to fit inside of this 3D model. So if a block was outside and inside of the 3D model, it was trimmed to fit inside of the ore body, as we can see here. Promine does not do sub-blocking because in this case, we trim the blocks. So there's no need to calculate the percent in model of each block. So this is a much easier way to calculate the total tonnage by taking into consideration all the blocks because they're all trimmed to be inside of the ore body. So now that we have the ore body constructed, we're going to design stopes. So I'm going to turn on the block model again, turn off the ore body. All right, so now we have a command called stope layout optimization. And this is what allows you to essentially design stopes based on the grades here and the dimensions of blocks. So the first thing to do is to configure your cost parameters. So you can input this information right here and then configure the stope size. So because it's an optimization, you're gonna give it a range of height by inputting a value in these two fields here. So in my case, I'll give it a range of 10 between five and 15 and then the length and width of the stopes will be 10 by 10. Now for the pillar size, I'll give it a width and length of five by five, and these are the dimensions of the blocks. So these pillars will be represented by empty space. So once this is configured, click optimize and select the blocks and hit enter. Now the program will optimize these blocks and insert stopes based on the grades and the dimensions of the blocks. So depending on where you have high grades, the program will try to insert stopes to fit those values. So once the optimization is done, you will see this window here where the program will show you the grade types. So as you can see here, we have silver and gold, as well as their minimum and maximum grade values. So in my case, I will choose gold, as the color to represent my stopes. And this is configurable in the ProMine options. And my output layer would be stopes. Hit OK. And the program will insert the stopes. And to view this a little bit better, we're going to turn off the block model to be left with the stopes. And let's switch the view here to realistic mode. And as you can see here, Depending on the parameters, the program performed optimization on the block model. And let's turn our ore body on to compare this. So as we can see here, we have a good representation of the ore body, which is the area to be mined, as well as the stopes. So this should give us a very good idea of the high grade zone and know where to continue our development and so on. So this concludes this Promine tip of the month. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.